so hi folks a very good afternoon to all of you those who are watching this video in the afternoon a very good afternoon to them or those who are watching this video in the evening good evening morning good morning and we'll say good night after the end of this video so uh, in the last uh, two videos we have uploaded three videos till now uh, i shifted to a new city recently so i was not i did not get much time to uh, basically uh, upload a particular video record a particular video so here it is now finally i have got time so uh, we have uploaded three videos uh, till date and uh, one of them was the unboxing of my laptop um, the macbook m uh, pro powered by the m2 chip the second video was an english version of how to install mac anaconda on a mac os or a windows the third video was the hindi version of what um, how to install uh, basically uh, anaconda on mac or uh, windows so this is what it is so as i said that uh, every tutorial of ours every uh, basically a discussion of ours will be of what uh, one will be of the hindi version and one will be of the english version so as uh, we have seen that uh, how to install anaconda basically a collection of as you can see it on my screen a collection of python ids uh, the most used id for data science is jupyter notebooks and also and after that comes the pycharm professional or the pycharm community edition so these are the basic uh, uh, what we can say these are these are the basic tools that we use but uh, they are very advanced let me tell you so that is what it is so in this video we'll start with the coding part pretty soon uh, those of you who haven't uh, don't know how to launch a jupyter notebook it is very simple just go to anaconda navigator be it on the search bar in the mac or if it is a, a windows go to the type here to search option the search bar that uh, the windows has be, uh, besides the start button there is the start option so this is what it is this type anaconda navigator this will open up and just click on launch and uh, in beneath jupyter notebook and it will open up in your uh, default browser so as you can see it has opened up in the safari browser in my case so here it is go to the home page let me just uh, drag it over here downwards yeah go to the home page click on new new notebook python 3 and in the new tab a new notebook will open up so uh, before uh, revising any further before discussing any things further uh, let's do what let's uh, discuss about the basics of python let's start our data science journey so we'll be discussing in this lecture a very short lecture of ours we'll be discussing what an introduction to python because uh, python is the most used programming language be it a fang be it of one of the fang companies be it the startups python is the most preferred programming language so let's begin with that so we'll uh, name this notebook as intro to python or uh, uh, you can say python basics so let's uh, name it as intro to python right so this is what it is in this video video we'll be discussing about the data types of python We'll be discussing several uh, operators of Python, be it mathematical operators, logical operators of Python, like that assignment operator of Python, so like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin your Python learning journey with datamahadev.com. We are now on YouTube, and if you want, you can check our blog as well, Data Mahadev. That goes by the same name, Data Mahadev.com, and you can check. Uh, whatever concept related you want to just go uh, you want to check just go to the search bar uh, type say for example you want to learn numpy click enter you'll see uh, two or three articles related to or several articles related not just two and three several article 10 plus 30 plus articles related to numpy and you can learn numpy anything you want to learn uh, let's say a machine learning concept say linear regression just type linear regression and you will find multiple uh, um, blogs related to learning tutorials related to linear regression similarly you can if you want to learn logistic regression 
logistic regression just type it in out in the search bar and you will find multiple uh, uh, articles related to logistic regression so do share and if you want to subscribe you have the option of subscribing in it or you can like uh, like us on facebook instagram and or our email id so let's begin with the intro to python all right so a is equal to 5 this is what this is a total notebook and whatever code i am writing this is a particular cell whatever code i am writing is what is my particular cell which in which i'll write code now this a is what what is this a this a is a variable this a is basically a variable this equal to is what equal to is my listen very carefully assignment operator Equal to is my assignment operator, and this five is what this five is my this five is my integer. This five is my integer. I have assigned the value of five to the variable a. This is what this piece of code represents. Again, I'll repeat it. This a is what this a is a variable. Equal to is what equal to is my assignment operator, and five is what five is my number i have assigned the value of 5 to the variable a all right so this is what is to run this we have an option to basically click on run run cell select below or we have also have the option of shift plus enter we can look up for shortcuts of jupyter notebook in this command just follow my cursor in this command palette just open this up command palette and you will find certain shortcuts that you can use to basically run a particular cell in the notebook so this is what it is run a particular cell or uh, multiple options multiple uh, operations you want to do but the most preferred is the run cell and select now that is command and uh, enter basically shift plus enter in windows and shift plus return in uh, mac so shift plus return so this cell has run value of 5 has been assigned to the variable a next to print a what i'll do i'll write the print statement in python and inside the parenthesis remember this bracket is what this bracket is known as parenthesis c shaped brackets are known as parenthesis shift plus enter it is going to print as what it is going to print it as 5 why because i have in my first cell i have assigned it as Five. All right. Now let's talk about data types. Let's talk about data types. For example, this uh, there are different types of data types in Python. Uh, one is your integer data type, which we which Python represents it as int, basically zero to infinite whole numbers with the uh, the numbers that do not contain decimal. Come under integer int, and the next is what the next is float. Basically, float is represented as float only in Python, and it is used for decimal numbers. Example: seven point five, ten point five, etc. And uh, any other decimal, uh, infinite decimal numbers, they come under what? They come under float. Next is your string. which is uh, represented uh, in str by python any alphabet any uh, place let's say lucknow right any uh, name let's say barack obama etc etc any uh, alphabet any sentence they all come under str and we represent it in single inverted quotes or double inverted quotes Like MS Dhoni, etc., etc. Then comes your boolean, which is bool in Python. It is either true or false. It will be either true or it will be false. So these are the specific data most used data types in Python. The most used are integer, float, and a string (str). And above them, integer and float. The most common data type that you will see 
when you're learning and working in Python is the float data type, the decimal number, right? That represents decimal number. Now, as this is what, this is a whole number. Five is what? A whole number, right? Five is what? From two and finite, five is your whole number, right? So how do we check that? In Python, how do we check that uh, five is an integer or not? I am saying that it is an integer. You all are agreeing that it is an integer, but how do we check that uh, whether five is an integer or not? So we use this particular statement or we can say command in Python known as type. Just type this type, T-Y-P-E, and write the variable name and when you press shift plus enter, it will give what? It will give as integer or the short form, uh, the representation of integer in Python is INT. Let's run it. And now you can see that it is showing it as what? It is showing it as integer, INT. <coughs> so this is what it is. This is how we check for data types. All right. Uh, next, we'll create another variable, let's say B is equal to 5.5. Check, let's print B using the print statement. In Jupyter Notebooks, we also have the option of just writing the variable name and print and the output will be printed as it is. So the question comes up, then why do we use print? Why do we use print? We use print when we have multiple statements to print. Now, for example, if I have multiple statements, like we have to print A, we have to print B. Now let's press shift, press enter. As you can see, it has printed only what? It has printed only B. It has ignored A, while A should also uh, have been printed, but A has not been printed. Now the uh, work for the print statement, the work for the print statement comes under play. Now if we write print, a or and print B specifically. Now it will print the value of A and it will print the value of B. So this is what it is. If you want to print a single value, then you don't need to uh, basically use the print statement. All right. Any doubts, simply rewind. Uh, just rewind back, buffer it. And it will, uh, you will be able to understand. And if you have any doubt, just type it in the comments box and don't forget to subscribe. All right, to basically stay up to date with the real with your Python concepts. So that is what it is. Right. So as we saw, uh, we saw B is equal to five point five. Let's check the type of B. What data type it has? What type class it has? Type B. As you can see, B is what five point five. It is showing it as float and what we discussed about that float is for decimal numbers. All right, moving on towards uh, another data type. Let's say we have a string by the name that goes by the name MS Dhoni. All right, let's uh, give the let's give the option to print C straight away MS Dhoni. We can also represent a string in double inverted quotes as well. It is all the same, nothing, no difference. Uh, let's check its type class or data type, str. As we discussed, that string str is represented as str. So this is what it is, as you can see. All right. Uh, next data type of ours will be what? Will be Boolean. All right. Uh, we'll take up D and we'll take up A is greater than 5. Now over here, the thing comes up, we saw an assignment operator. Above we are seeing, we seeing assignment operator continuously, which is equals to. We are seeing assignment operator continuously, which is equals to. Now, this is another operator, less, uh, greater than. These are what they, they, comes, uh, they come under logical operators. So we'll discuss that uh, when we uh, just completed with the Boolean data type, right? Let's uh, print D, it is showing as what false. Now A is what? A is equal to five, but not greater than that. 
so that is why it is showing is what it is showing it as false we check its type class and it will show what it is showing it as bool it is showing it as bool so this is what it is this is what our data type is now let's add another logical operator equal to leg greater than equal to now yes a is what a is not greater than 5 but it is equal to 5 so it will do what it will i print d it will show me as true so this is what it is we have many types of logical operators in python but uh, the most common ones are great uh, less than greater than all right let me separate it with comma over here uh, great uh, less than equal to greater than equal to these are the most used logical operators in python all right so this is how we this is uh, these are what data types in uh, different uh, several data types in python are these are what the logical operators in python are let's discuss a few arithmetic or mathematical operators in python arithmetic operators in python they are uh, very simple basically the plus addition used for addition minus used for subtraction uh asterisk used for multiplication or star used for multiplication slash used for division a double slash used for floor division we'll discuss that one by one and uh, one more let's discuss one more uh, which is double asterisk or double star used for printing the power of a particular number let's press shift plus enter again now let's add up two numbers we have our two numbers uh, we have a we have b right uh, let's uh, add two numbers 10.5 let's subtract two numbers minus 0.5 let's multiply two numbers 27.5 let's uh, divide two numbers 0 0.9090 so this is what this is division this is division this is uh, your uh, multiplication and the other above two are pretty obvious addition and subtraction operators now let's have a look at floor division let's have a look at floor division now what is floor division floor division is basically it does what it is represented by double slash and it does what it basically gives the whole number floor division gives the whole number it basically uh, slashes out and eliminates the decimal points of the uh, basically quotient this is what this is our entire division the answer to output to the division to whatever division we have done so what flow does it will remove the numbers which are uh, in the decimal points it will remove it will only give us zero zero what i said that flow division removes what removes the decimal points and only gives us zero if it is not clear we'll take another example let's add one more operator to our kitty which is the modulo operator or modulus operator represented as a percent sign represented as a percent sign and it is used for a remainder right we'll see it pretty soon let's take another example of floor division in python without you know uh, taking variables and assigning certain values to it we can just directly apply it mathematical operations as well like 99 plus 97 99 minus 97 99 into 97 we can also apply by directly just like a calculator just like a calculator we can directly uh, apply what uh, our arithmetic operations 99 to 97 99 divided by 
and he said now it is giving us what 1.02 something now if i apply flow division it will only give me what is on the left side of the decimal operator the whole number but it won't give me this these points 0 0.02061855 as an output it only flow division does what removes the decimal point removes the decimal points it only gives the or returns returns the whole number as an output as an output so this is what it is right and next let's let's have a look at the exponentiation operator exponentiation operator it does what it means in this exam a to the power b so this is what it will give us the power of b that means five if i write five exponential two that means five to the power two that means five square and what is five square it is equivalent to 25. any doubts please rewind back buffer it and rewind it backwards and you will get to know and if you are not able to understand then also comment it below and definitely you will be respond responded all right so this is what it is this is what exponentiation operator is coming back to the last one which is what which is our modulo or modulus operator modulo or modulus operator or modulus operator used to basically returns the remainder as an output all right let's take up uh, two numbers uh, let's say 5 modulus 2 now 5 divided by 2 now let me just show you how it is calculated only for those who don't know how to calculate a remainder now 5 divided by 2 oh sorry i'm, I'm really sorry uh, 2 divided by 5 right it will be 2 divided by 5 now so 2 twos are 2 4 now uh, we cannot divide this further we need a decimal points only then we can divide the moment we need decimal point that means uh, before that if we need decimal point it will add 10 then we'll write again we'll uh, multiply it by 5 and write 10 over here and it will eventually cut it out but we don't use a uh, decimal point over here we just stop when it is smaller than the divisor right so one has come that means this one is our remainder so what will be our answer what will be our answer in this uh, just again let me close it in this uh, five modulus two it is one right similarly let's take another example uh, let's take uh, uh, 45 modulus four a uh, 45 modulus four it is showing it as one okay let's take another example 45 modulus 6 it is showing it as what it is showing it as uh, 3 so let's divide 45 by 6 so 6 7 is what 42 and let's uh, um, subtract it the final remainder is 3 now to solve this further we'll need to apply a decimal only then it can be solved the moment this situation arises this is our this becomes our what a remainder and as you can see the answer is 
this this is our remainder scatter this is our what this is our uh, answer for floor division this is our answer for floor division and this is our answer for modulus let me write it down this is our answer for floor division and this is our answer for remainder or modulus so this is what it is right so if we divide 45 by 6 the answer will be 7.5 we flow divided by the 0.5 will vanish only the 7 will remain as i said the flow division only gives out what the whole number as i mentioned it over it moves the decimal points it only returns the whole number as now if i divide a flow division 6 7 so this is what it is a very basic intro to python how do we uh, basically uh, uh, assign a, a number assign a value to a variable how we print a variable print uh, the value of a variable how we basically uh, what different type of data types are are there how we classify that it is an integer or not classify but how do we know that it is a particular integer float with the help of or the boolean or string with the help of this uh, command or statement type typ and of course in the parenthesis writing the name of the variable and how how print statement is useful uh, we can also print it singularly but when two statements we have to print only the last statement will get printed if we don't use a print statement so we have to if we are printing multiple statements we have to print it print the use the print statement twice or thrice or quadrice or pentice or hexice etc etc so this is what it is a uh, string represented in double inverted quotes or single inverted quotes right boolean again you with the help of using logical operators we'll discuss uh, logical operators a bit more in detail and maybe most probably in our next lecture um, basically in our next lecture in english lecture we'll be discussing lists further on and uh, after that we'll be discussing logical operators more in detail uh, are basic arithmetic operators basically a plus uh, minus uh, asterisk uh, division flow division exponentiation modulus and yeah last but not the least i have written in the codes in these cells i have written something in hash and i have written a language um, not a language english language of course logical operators and this and that these are what these are basically comments in python with the help of hash they are basically what comments in python and they are what python are non readable code they are non readable we can write comments anywhere in the code we want or we want to explain something we can basically just use hash and write anything in english language or uh, in the numerical language uh, it will it won't run it basically the cell will run but it won't show any output neither it will show any error so that's all for now and uh, yeah if uh, any doubt arises just uh, try rewinding and even if then you don't understand try to comment on the inbox whatever review you have do comment it on the inbox if i am going very fast comment it on the inbox let me know because i'm here to serve you all and i'll go slow as well so this is what it is thanks a lot everyone see you in the next lecture thanks you thank you